the new face of gossip, celebrity friend, celebrity foe. Why Perez Hilton has got the hottest website in Hollywood. The gossip master, the blogger who tamed Hollywood's most powerful celebrities and borrowed his name from its biggest it girl. You know, they say you should keep your friends close and your enemies closer. So, what to do if you're a Hollywood celebrity and you cross paths with a guy named Perez Hilton. He's a gossip blogger who can make and break reputations. He wields a peculiar power because his website is very, very popular. ABC's David Wright has the latest installment of our series, Celeb Nation. At the Velvet Rope Line, he still has the look of a gate crasher, but Perez Hilton is very much an insider. So much so that he's been asked to host a party at one of the summer's biggest concerts at Atlantic City's posh Borgata Hotel. Not Paris Hilton, Perez Hilton. And I kind of love what the name is all about. You know, it's satirizing, it's celebrating. And it's a clash of these two worlds, which is what I am, really, you know. I'm gay, I'm Latino, and I've kind of infiltrated that, infiltrated, <laughs> infiltrated this, like, pop culture vernacular world craziness. Paris, right now! Come on! Straight ahead, Miss Hilton! The name was inspired by the celebutant, who later became his friend. I try not to become friends with celebrities. Sometimes it just happens. I never set out to be, you know, oh, I want to become friends with so-and-so or so-and-so. More often than not, he tends to make enemies of celebrities because he's unafraid to trash them in his blog. Perez Hilton was one of the first with the news that Britney Spears and Kevin Federline were divorcing. He drew fire for pushing former NSYNC member Lance Bass out of the closet. And he says he got death threats for reporting that American Idol winner Clay Aiken was gay something Aiken denies. Hello, is it me you're looking for? You know, I treat everyone the same. I don't discriminate. I'll talk about you whether you're gay or straight, out or not. I'm about normalizing. Hilton's Hollywood is a modern day of the locust. Celebrities stripped of their glamour. He not only shows them warts and all, he magnifies the warts. Sometimes there are these like flawed characters that could be both hero and villain, like Britney Spears. She is better than anything I could have ever written. Do you ever feel bad about anything you've written? I don't regret a single thing I've ever written. And I've written some pretty uh, harsh things. When did you first realize that people were paying attention? About six months into it, I got a call from a TV show the insider saying they were doing a piece on Hollywood's most hated websites and they wanted to include me in it. Like, wow. <laughs> I don't necessarily agree with that, but sure, I'll put it on t-shirts. I'll make it my slogan. <laughs> Hollywood's most hated website. And that's when I realized because like, a little bubble went off. I'm like, wow, this little thing that I started off for fun as a hobby is getting me on television. There's something to this. Perez Hilton is the gnome de plume of Mario Lavandera, a former actor and publicist who started blogging in 2004 at a coffee bean and tea leaf outlet on Sunset Boulevard. He set up his office there because when he started, he didn't have internet access from home, and he's been there ever since. He's come a long way from his working class Miami upbringing. He studied acting in New York and nurtured his own hopes of becoming a star. Don't go sit there, no one gets shot. Oh my God, oh my God. The farthest he got was a cameo on The Sopranos. You're robbing a benefit concert, you know that. Is that all there is? I'll f***ing blow your head off. Most people charged it to their student card. As an actor, he didn't get very far. But as a gossip columnist, he's now sensational enough to rate a mention on CSI. Oh, don't tell me you're tired of the field already. No, I had to catch up on my Perez Hilton. What he essentially has done is sort of taken tabloids onto the net in a way that no one else has done it before. He has one of the most viewed blogs in the world. Four and a half million hits a day. 1.7 million unique visitors a month. I treat the website like a soap opera. You know, I think it's important to have heroes and villains and people that you're rooting for and against. And it's this ongoing storyline that keeps people coming back. Among the saints... Angelina, Oprah, 
Madonna. The sinners, well, the list goes on and on. Tom Cruise. Crazy. Lindsay Lohan. Troubled. <laughs> William Shatner. Canadian. <laughs> I don't know. Icon. <laughs> Canadian icon. That's so crazy. Hilton relies on a network of publicists, managers, assistants, and celebrities themselves for news that he says is always true. But always, the best source of information for me are my friends, because I know them, I trust them, they won't lie to me, they haven't lied to me. He started his website more as a fan than a Hollywood insider. As he puts it, he likes to be biting, but he doesn't intend to draw blood. When I first started the website, it was called page666.com. And I loved that name because he kind of instantly knew what it was all about, mm -hmm. devilish gossip. Then I got sued by the New York Post in their page six gossip column. The first of several lawsuits. There are at least three separate cases pending against him now for infringement of copyright for some of the paparazzi photos that appear on his site. Sometimes he publishes my client's photos before my client is able to sell those photos. So uh, he undercuts the market because instead of paying for the photos, those photos are now available for free on his sites. John Terranian's client, X-17, is suing Hilton for more than $13 million. He's really stood out as a, a notorious, open, willful, and brazen infringer. Hilton insists he's done nothing wrong. But last month, legal pressure led his internet host to drop him, taking his site temporarily offline and wiping out his extensive archive. Enraged by the, quote, technical difficulties, Hilton filed a countersuit against X-17 for unfair competition. I've gotten a great education in the legal system. Any successful business, when you reach that point of success, everybody starts suing you. If you ask Donald Trump, if you ask big corporations, when you start making money, people will come out after you to try to get a piece of that money. Perez Hilton is not Donald Trump, not just yet, but he's fast on his way to establishing himself as a brand name, complete with his own line of t-shirts and other merchandise. I'm working on a TV project, which uh, I'm very excited about. I'm working on a book. I'm working on a music tour. I'm working hard to live up to my self-appointed title of queen of all media. And the queen was inspired by his friend, the princess. I think people don't give her enough credit for doing what she does. You know, she's turned her name and herself into this multi-million dollar a year brand. And who wouldn't love that? You know? Like Paris, Perez is hoping to turn his 15 minutes of fame into millions. I'm David Wright for Nightline in Atlantic City. Hey!